Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John, and in this video, I'm going to explain how to remove duplicates to create a list of unique values. So we're going to look at two different ways to do this. The first way being the remove duplicates feature in Excel. And then I'm going to explain how to make the process even faster using a macro. So here I have a simple data set. And ultimately, I want to create a list of unique values for the salesperson column, all of these items here in column D. So we can see we have repeating values here. And I just want to make a list of unique values that I can use uh, for a lookup table or maybe a summary report or something like that. So Excel has a remove duplicates feature built in. It's on the data tab of the ribbon and there's a button right here called remove duplicates. So clicking that button will open this remove duplicates window here. And uh, typically if you have your data formatted in an Excel table or you have the filters turned on, you'll have this my data has headers checkbox checked and those are the header uh, the header row that contains the column names and right here we have a list of the column names so if we leave these all checked right now and click ok excel is going to look for matching rows complete matching rows and then if it finds any of those it'll remove the duplicates now i don't have any of those in this data set so if i click ok right now excel is just going to tell me that no duplicate values were found so i'll click ok so I'll open remove duplicates again, and really we just want to run this on one column, which is the salesperson column. So I'm going to unselect all, then click the salesperson column, and then click OK. And now Excel will tell me that 361 duplicate values were found and uh, removed, and then eight unique values remain. So we can click OK, and here is our list of unique values right here. So these are all the unique values in the column for just that salesperson column. Now there's a few issues with this. Uh, first of all, this remove duplicates runs on the existing data set. So we do lose existing data if we run it here. Uh, fortunately, this data set's small and I can undo this and I'm going to undo this. Uh, but that is one issue. And then the other issue is I don't really need all of these other columns. What I really wanted to create was just this salesperson column right here and probably put that on a new sheet and just have that list on a new sheet. So I'm going to go ahead and undo that remove duplicates. So now we're back to our data set. So typically what we have to do to, to create this list of unique values is first select the salesperson column. We can do that by hovering the mouse over the top half of the header row here in the table. Just click it twice and then we'll right click copy or control C. We'll add a new sheet to our workbook here and we'll paste, uh, pa right click paste or control V. So now we have the contents of our column and we wanna remove duplicates. So again, data tab, and then we'll go remove duplicates. Now we'll only see the one person here, I'm sorry, the one column, the salesperson column right here, uh, checked and we'll hit okay. And that will again, remove all those duplicate values and then the eight unique values remain. So we can click okay. And now we have this list on a new sheet and we can auto fit that. And then we can use this list to create that lookup table or whatever we wanna use it for. But now we have this list of unique values and the, sh the data on the data sheet has not changed. It's still there and we can still use that data. So as we can see, there's quite a few steps there to copy the data to a new sheet, add the new sheet, and then remove the duplicates. So I've written a macro that does that all in one step with the click of a button. And I've added that macro to my My Macros toolbar up here. This list unique buttons will run the macro. So I'll explain the macro in just a second, but first I'll show how it works. Uh, so again, we'll work with the salesperson column here. I'm gonna hit escape to clear those marching ants. And now we just have the entire salesperson column selected. And I'm just going to click the list unique list uniques button and that runs the macro to do everything we just did which is create the new sheet copy and paste the data run remove duplicates but it does that all with the click of a button so it's obviously very fast and it will work on any column that you select so you just select a column in data sheet click that button or run the macro and you're good to go so let's take a look at this macro and see how it works. So I'm going to go to open the VB editor, keyboard shortcut Alt F11. We can go to the developer tab here, click the visual basic button. 
and here is the macro. And I'll make this a file available for you to download. So you can download the file for free and copy and paste the macro. And you can put it in your personal macro workbook. I have a whole nother video series that explains how to create the personal macro workbook and use it, and also how to add buttons up here. So if we go back to Excel, how to add a custom toolbar here, a custom ribbon with buttons that are assigned to those macros. So I have a whole video series that explains that in more detail, and I'll put the link below this video. All right, so if we jump back over to the Visual Basic Editor, here's the macro, and it's fairly simple. It just does all those steps we just did uh, manually, but it does it with code. Uh, so the first thing we do in this section here is check that a range is selected and not another object uh, like a shape or a chart or something. Uh, so make sure the range is selected. Then we set a variable equal to the selected range. So this variable will store our selected range. Uh, we then add a new worksheet with the worksheets.add method. And uh, we'll set this variable ws to that new sheet, to reference that new sheet. Uh, we then copy that selected range and paste it to the new sheet. So we're pasting it here to cell A1 in the new sheet. I'm using the paste special method to paste the values and the formats, uh, but you can use any of those options in the paste special method there. If you wanna just do a regular copy and paste to bring everything over, uh, values and formats, we'll, bring, we'll just bring over the values in the cells and also the formats like the fill color and the borders and things like that. Uh, if you just wanted to bring over the values and number formats, you can use this line here, just delete the apostrophe in front of it to uncomment that and use that line instead and then put apostrophes in front of these lines up here to comment those out. So that's how you can change the uh, paste special command there, however you wanna paste to the new sheet and then we use the remove duplicates method on that used range in the new sheet to remove the duplicates. So that's the same feature that we have in Excel. Uh, we're just using code to do it instead, we're using BBA code. And then it has some parameters here for how many columns. We just want the first column because we're only doing one single column. And then this header parameter will guess whether or not uh, your data has headers uh, based on if that cell is bold or has some formatting applied to it up in the header row. Uh, so then uh, down here, I added this optional section to also remove blank cells. So another thing that happens when we do remove duplicates is it will count a blank cell or multiple blank cells as a unique value and then leave that blank cell in the list. And, and typically we don't want that blank cell there. So then we take an extra step to go delete the blank cell. Uh, so in this case here, uh, this uh, part of the code will just delete any blank cells or actually just a single blank cell that's left over after we remove duplicates. Then there's a line of code to auto fit the column. Uh, so all the contents fit in the column so we don't have to take that step either. And then down here, we just exit the uh, cut copy mode so we don't accidentally paste our copied range again somewhere else. So that's how the macro works. Again, I'll jump back to Excel. We'll go over to our data sheet here and we can run it on a column that does contain blanks. So we can see the category column here does contain some blank cells. So again, I'm just gonna select the column here. If you select the entire column, uh, the formatting won't travel. The the table formatting won't travel. So if we just select the table column by hovering the top half there of the table header and left click twice, that'll just select the table column. So either way will really work. We'll go to my macros and run the list uniques macro. And here we have our list of unique values. And you can see that blank cell has been removed as well. So typically you'll probably see a blank cell in there after we remove duplicates uh, using the remove duplicates feature but the macro takes an extra step to remove that blank cell as well. So it makes it much faster and easier. You can use this uh, list uniques macro on any column of data in any workbook, and it'll just be a one-click operation to get a list of unique values. So I hope that helps. Of course, there's a lot of ways to remove duplicates in Excel. So if you have another technique, please share it in the comments below. If you'd like to learn more about macros, then join me for a free upcoming webinar on the seven steps to getting started with macros in VBA. During this training, I'm going to explain how to write your first macro, what order the code runs in, 
what the dots between the words mean, and some of these complex things that are hard to understand when we're starting out with macros. So this will really help you automate Excel and save a ton of time with your job. So click the link right below this video to get registered for the free webinar, and I look forward to seeing you there.